I am inspired by everything. I say dream big, work hard, keep smiling, <laughs> stay positive. I always laugh things out. I was there. I was there with big dreams and big hopes, with a lot of hardships and challenges, very little means, and I grew up in a small town. I grew up really tomboy. I grew up in Wahiwa. I was always influenced by my mom. She was a buyer for Shirakia and worked through fashion. I loved making girls over. I was a dancer, a cheerleader, and that really just struck a chord of like, okay, you can look cute. $50, I'll do your hair and makeup. I always knew what I wanted to do, but life happened. I was living in Europe for a summer for an internship, but then I was forced to come back home. And at the end of my college, I became a mom. I love being a mom, but I, you know, like we feel like we have to put things on hold, and I did, but one thing I knew I didn't want to do was stop what I wanted to pursue. I started on the local TV stations, you know, fluff and buff everyone. I also work as a stylist for corporations. That has grown to big commercial projects. I was a girl with big dreams. I had this journal. I have like a list from one to 100. The first five was to go to New York and go to New York Fashion Week. I was working in editorial. I was freelancing. I literally looked online and signing up and I got approved. And I was like, oh my God, I got approved. I'm going to Fashion Week. Next thing I know, I'm sitting front row. I'm meeting Vanessa Williams. And that's kind of the beginning of my career. It was like going to New York, so inspiring. That was the reset button after I had my daughter, was you can do this. My daughter is amazing. I love her to death. She's definitely an independent girl. My goal is to always give my daughter enough creative freedom to be who she is with enough guidance to make the right choices. I say to women, embrace who you are. Don't be so scared because the only person out there who can hold you back from anything is you.